this is the VPC creator main screen this is how it loads uh, there's various options here open the files uh, point clouds uh, do the conversion this will turn green we have settings advanced NC tech and three other options if your point clouds georeference if you wish to combine multiple clouds into one very optimized cloud and if you want to have different file names or just retain them so they're the same but .vpc once the conversion is done a um, couple of options down here help and uh, which version you're using um, so if your point clouds are georeferenced you would tick this when you load them you select the correct EPSG coordinate system the map will then move to the values from the point clouds and to the code so if that's in the incorrect place something has gone wrong there maybe the EPSG code is incorrect so worth checking that before you spend lots of time doing your conversion and it's in the wrong place um, you don't have to do georeferencing now it can be done later if you're using a data studio because you have the option there to put in um, an EPSG code and it will move it in real time combining clouds so obviously you can load lots of clouds in here and do batch processing so you don't need to sit and do individual files if you combine them duplicate points will be removed and therefore you have a very optimized point cloud um, you may or may not wish to do that it depends on um, later on inside say day studio or rhino whether you want to turn off individual parts of the scans in which case you may wish to leave them separate and like i said retaining file names just if you want to rename the files that's the settings tab under advanced this is where we can change the scale so this is the source uh, point cloud data's what units is it in so uh, majority of people do use meters and inside thesis we use meters so this is saying the source from the scanner so this, the point cloud from the scanner or exported from uh, that software is in meters if your source was in millimeters US feet survey you would select that here so but to note this isn't what you want the final point cloud to be it's what the source is so very important that's the source uh, we have multipliers here we have offsets here generally you would never use these we just provide them uh, we have a filter set at two millimeters so that's points within the same space of two millimeters in this example um, may be removed um, because the the accuracy just wouldn't be there anyway so it makes the point cloud even more optimized you can turn this off uh, we've done lots and lots of testing the two millimeters really is the optimal performance um, if you're using ASCII point clouds, it's um, is it intensity or RGB first? You have the option to change that. So here I'm going to click on the. Oh, sorry. There's one other option here. It's NC Tech. Uh, if you have an NC Tech color camera, and you're you're going to use that instead of your uh, scanner's color camera, you would select the option here and then select um, some of the values here that you've got from that iStar camera. Uh, when you then go to do the processing of the point cloud you will be asked for the file and you then point towards that and that would then be applied over top of the intensity values for the points uh, so i'm going to click here on the the amber bar at the top um there we go so here just select file and the directory structure where your data is data should be on your local drives not across the network obviously it's going to slow things down usb3 would be acceptable um, but devices must be connected for usb3 and they both must be usb3 compliant or it's just going to slow the whole process down um, we recommend solid state drives etc so um, always worth purchasing one of those so just select the file you want and you'll see it appear you can click open but if you use the shift key as well you can select multiple files use the control key just exactly the same as Windows File Explorer um, allows you to select multiple files click open displays those files obviously the option to combine but it also gives a estimated total time to process so here total time less than a minute around 45 seconds and individually that's what they would take very simple from then the green point cloud converter icon is available simply click this 
and sit back and wait for those point clouds to be processed. Um, please make sure you have vast amounts of hard drive if you have big files. Um, we do pop up a warning if you do not have enough disk space, but always worth checking in case you're putting extra files onto that hard drive whilst the conversion is happening in the background. So in which case our check would fail. Um, typically, um, if a point cloud was say 10 gigabytes, the VPC file created would be around two to three gigabytes. So a 70% saving, which is very useful. But during the process, um, we may take around three times the size in order to, to create our temporary file structures and assemble that into our own file. So that 10 gig would need 30 gigs worth of space. When it's finished, your two to three gig file, we will clean up the existing files that have been used during the, the conversion phase. So not to worry.